Today, we'll show you how to register your MMDVM repeater with the Brandmeister servers so that we can get you on the air as soon as possible. So first off, uh, this video assumes that you've already done a couple of things like uh, pass your radio license exam and register for your personal DMR ID. Uh, if you haven't done those yet and you're not sure how, we have some videos below that you can look at that'll sort that out for you. So once you've registered your personal DMR ID and you've logged into radioid.net, you can come over here and click on your call sign, which will give you a few options. And if you scroll down here on the left side, you have an add repeater option. You can click on here and it gives you uh, the requirements for what you must have, you know, amateur license and those things. Uh, and what they're going to require from you. They're going to require uh, a copy of your license, so if you have that saved on your computer already, great. If not, you may need to find your uh, original one that was sent to you or scan it in. Either way, you'll have to get that uh, so that you can submit it to radioid.net and they will assign a repeater ID to you. Uh, they're a volunteer-based organization, so it takes them a little while to get back, but they do good work. Once you have that in, uh, you'll get a notification, and then over here in the left-hand column, uh, it goes DMR, and then repeaters here. Your repeater uh, ID will be registered here, along with the information that you put in, including the frequency that you selected with your frequency coordinator, your offset, color code, time slots, uh, desired networks. We're going to be doing Brandmeister, but of course you can use you know, whatever network you want, uh, as well as your call sign and your location. Once you have your repeater DMR ID registered with radioid.net, you're not quite done. You go over to Brandmeister. Now this is assuming that you've already uh, registered yourself with Brandmeister. You would just log in here and you go, oh, this is great. You come in and you set up a repeater account, which is going to be tied to your main account. So after you've registered your uh, initial DMR, ID here, you'll need to go through and punch in the, uh, the initial DMR ID details uh, as your two accounts will be associated. The next step after you've signed into your Brandmeister account is to come over here and scroll down so that you can set up a support account. Now the support account is separate from the main account with Brandmeister, so you're going to need to create another login for that. So you can come in here and click sign up for an account. I can use this and then prove that you're not a robot or if you are a robot, be able to read wavy letters. And they'll send you a link to your email so that you can log in and verify that you are who you say you are. Uh, so here's the email sent to me by Brandmeister Help. You can just click sign up and it'll bring you back to the service desk where you come in and you uh, enter your full name. My name's generic enough. And then you enter a password. And you click save and continue. Once you've signed into your Brandmeister help account, you can click on BMUSA, scroll down here to the repeaters option. They give you all sorts of helpful tips here, but what we need to do today is gain sysop access. So you come in here and you can provide a little description like uh, need to reset default password or MMDVM tied to BCR repeater. Select your master network here. Uh, if you're in 3101, you're probably on the East Coast, 3102 for uh, the Midwest, and 3103 for the West Coast. And in the future, if you are on 3101, you'll need to switch to 3104 as Brandmeister has upgraded their server capacity and has upgraded their server number as well. Then you would punch in your call sign, the DMR ID. This is your personal DMR ID, not your repeater's uh, DMR ID. Then your repeater's call sign, which may be the same as your call sign or your call sign slash R. 
and then repeater uh, ID here that you got from radioid.net and click create. After Brandmeister has contacted you back and given the sysop privileges to you and set the default password in your hotspot, uh, we'll come in here to configuration, log in with pi dash star, and the password is always raspberry. We can come down here and then just confirm that the host name is PyStar, your call signs in here. Uh, the DMR ID here listed should be the repeater DMR ID and not your personal DMR ID. Then we'll have the frequency that you agreed upon with your frequency coordinator, uh, the latitude and longitude of approximately where you're gonna have your repeater located so that way when you pop up in Brandmeister, it's um, the right location as well as your town, city, you want to make sure your URL is set to auto, that you have your uh, channel here set to STM32, which is hopefully in my list of, yeah, right here. It's a public node. And then hit your apply changes. and your MMDVM should now be set up. If you look over here in the left-hand column of your dashboard, we have DMR green, which means they're connected, DMR net, so you're on their network. We have your uh, transmit and receive frequencies, as well as your DMR listed, your color code, and which time slots you're on, and then down here, which server you're a part of. That wasn't too painful, right? Now that your MMDVM repeater is all set to go, we will ship it out to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching, 7-3.